good day today. Sprinkle a little bit while we were out there at uh, the Pro-Am for the Barbasol. It's like a minute's worth. You may have seen a little bit more at your place, but right now on the Max Track Live Doppler, pretty quiet. There might be a sprinkle running around Pulaski County, maybe a sprinkle, and that would be about it. A uh, look from Pepper Rick House, the distillery district. Got a high, thin overcast. That's kind of that milky look. Cumulus clouds are underneath, not doing much of anything, so all looks good with your St. Joe's Felt weather bug camera. Tomorrow may be the best day as we start off the Barbasol. Saturday may be the worst. We'll talk about the rain potential and then next week there is a much needed dry spell. So we're going to put it into golfing parlance as we look through the Barbasol weekend forecast for you. Tomorrow's the birdie. Pretty good looking day. I think we stay dry. Temperatures in the upper 80s. It'll be humid. Uh, we get you to Friday. There'll be some storms around in the afternoon. So, okay, not a great day, not a horrible day. It's, it's your par. Uh, at this point for Saturday, it looks like the double bogeys. We're not going in the water. Uh, and by the time we get you to Sunday, again, there'll be storms around, so we'll call it a bogey. So. Again, more bad maybe than good as we look ahead. But again, there'll be dry times over the weekend as well. But still, that rain chance is uh, pretty high for us on Saturday. See how it ramps up from tomorrow all the way going into the weekend and then declines nicely going into next week. So tonight, we will see the clouds that are around basically thin on out. Uh, we roll through the evening hours here on the future track. Not a bad night for us at all. We continue into the day tomorrow. All right, you're going to see the clouds develop again during the morning. By the afternoon, could there be an isolated shower? Perhaps. That's why the rain chance is not zero. But the bottom line is just about all of us will stay dry tomorrow. We get you on into Friday. Now, that's a little different story. As the front begins to get closer, we get you toward the you know, early part of the afternoon. Thunderstorms will be blossoming up, and the coverage gets pretty generous by the latter part of the day. More north and west than south and east. Thing is, this front's going to get here and then hang around. And that's why your rain chances are likely going on into Saturday. It could be a hot day tomorrow. Again, the hottest day we should see. Our first chance getting above normal in a while as well. Winchester 88, Paris 88, Lexington, Harrodsburg each at 88. Danville will match it as well. We head over into eastern Kentucky. Stanton and Irvin will hit 89. Uh, Frenchburg and Owingsville, Flemingsburg all at 87 matched in Moorhead. Southeast, you're looking at maybe a 90 sneaking into Hyden and Jackson. Beattyville right behind, as is Prestonsburg. And finally, around the lakes, you've got an 85 in London, 85 in Mount Vernon, Whitley City. How about an 87 tomorrow afternoon and the mugginess? Yeah, we're going to hang around there as we go through the weekend, but maybe a little bit of a reprieve. In fact, a pretty good one as we get you on into the early part of next week. From the Kentucky Mezzanine, pick out your favorite town here. 81 in McKee. It's 84 in Cynthiana. Matched in Frankfurt. Right now, Lexington, the south side's 82. It's 81 at the Bluegrass Airport. And along with that, it's pretty muggy out there. Warm night tonight, overnight lows, upper 60s to around 70, your day tomorrow. Partly sunny, may actually be a dry day, highs in the upper 80s. One thing to point out here, record high of 108, that's the all-time record high for Lexington. Also, the sunset now before 9 o'clock starting tomorrow. Upper 80s on Friday, low 80s Saturday and Sunday with rain th and thunderstorms likely. Low 80s next week, but it does dry out. LEX 18 Sports right after this.